What's up guys? Come out to Langham Creek today. The new attic sparker spillway is right up there, but you can see there's some construction going on, so I'm not gonna try to sneak past them. But this spot on the creek looks fantastic. We've got the spillway up ahead, structure down behind us, and kind of a, a deep spot where everything kind of slows down. I can notice there's a bit of a back eddy right here. Anyway, there's definitely fish in here, so let me show you what we're working with. I've got really good bait today. Okay, let's go for another one of these bluegill. I'm gonna kind of start small. That one's a perfect one. Tiny, tiny little guy. I'm gonna hook him right through the back of his tail so he swims up. There we go. There are so many snags in here, it's absolutely amazing. I'm trying to think of where I can put this. There, I feel like if I throw it upstream, since everything up there has been cleared away, the further upstream you go, the less and less you're likely to find a, a snag in the form of a tree branch. Of course, that's just a theory. I could be completely wrong. That certainly didn't take long. It's already a fish picking it up. Yep, he's on. That one's on. Ugh, lift him over. There's a fish caught. Check that out. Look at those. I'll get back in focus. There they are. Look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. Crazy looking animal. Let's get him back in the water. Oh, there's one right there. There's one right there. We're about to toss this guy back in the water and there's one below him. There he goes. I'm going to dry my hands off on my pant legs down here below my boots. That way I don't end up feeling that wet slime. Whew. Really good fish. I mean, light tackle stuff, guys. Those fish do get to be absolutely enormous. You know, they can weigh nearly twice as much as I do and be several feet longer than I am tall. Everything's several feet longer than you are tall. Well, let's get this back out. He actually broke one of the prongs on that hook when we were unhooking him. So me, actually I broke it, bending it with the pliers, but it's just, uh, that's how tough they are. And yes, I did get that, that third piece of that hook out of his mouth. All right, I'm gonna set this down by the way, just so you guys know what I'm doing, because these obviously don't have a bait runner feature. Just get a branch, hook the line. Let's weigh that down with something. Just get a handful of twigs, sticks, and grass. Put it on the leaf here. And then to make sure the spool, somebody's upset. Just to make sure the spool doesn't flow past itself in bird's nest, I stuff a little leaf in there. Should that start getting dragged towards the water. I don't know, there's a fish on. Oh, yep, see? That worked pretty fast. The fish are actually biting really quick. This is this is such a cheap way to give yourself a little indicator if uh, if you're short-handed on gear, if you don't have a bait running reel, or maybe you forgot it, just something like that. Let's oh, he's still there. I was gonna say let's give him a minute, but uh, he's being a little aggressive with it. Let's give him a few more seconds. Oh, there's a fish. What have we got? Yes, a little catfish. Not unexpected, that's that's exactly what I thought I was gonna get. You know, it's just a, a good little way to pass the time. A little tiny channel catfish. And you know, that honestly could be what was uh, giving us so much trouble with uh, that cut bait. Would make sense, he was unable to take it, but he's big enough to pull the bait out of position. All right, we're moving. Went a little further downstream. Got to be very careful. Some of this uh, pathway is very narrow. 
I don't mind falling in, except that the camera would go with us. This is an interesting spot. I think we can make it down to the bank over there. I mean, I know we can. I, when I say that, what I mean is I think I can make it down to the bank over there without setting anything down or breaking camera. Oh, I fell right through all that debris. Look at that, my leg just went clean through that. All right. While that's sitting over there, let's throw a little piece of this chunk bait just right over here, right, right in these rocks. It's very shallow. Very shallow here, but you know, the gar and the bowfin that are out here love this type of terrain. In fact, I need to keep a close eye on the edge of the bank because a lot of the times when I'm fishing for uh, for both gar and bowfin, I see them first, end up sight casting to them, and that's how I get my hook up. Oh, there's another one right there. Okay, he got that one in his mouth. Give him a second. There he is. I told you guys, you gotta watch. Oof. Don't want to. His tail is bright red. Look at that. That's perfect hook set. Right there. Right at the uh, the end of his jaw. Doesn't get better than that because you can just pop that right back out. In fact, I can probably do it without my pliers. Look at that tail. You just can see the, uh... yeah, gorgeous fish. Let's get him unhooked. Let's see if I can just kind of pop this out with my hand. Yep, there it is. Just like that. Let's get him back in. Turn himself around. There he goes. There he is, swimming off right there. sound of all these insects out here is absolutely mind-boggling. These cicadas are so incredibly loud. Uh, they're drowning out the noises of the city. Every time they sound off, you know, there could be a motorcycle going down the freeway and one of these cicadas, you know, 20, 30 feet away from me and that's louder. It's absolutely incredible. But uh, it's actually quite a nice day today. It's not too hot. There's a lot of shade out here. Uh, I don't know what it is. I think, honestly, without getting too schmaltzy or cliche, the sand reminds me of my childhood. And that's only because I used to do, when I was young, a lot of the fishing I did um, was kind of divided between two places, either at home, which was on Oyster Creek, very swampy environment, or in Nacogdoches, which is where I've got family in Nacogdoches, and we'd go back up and forth all the time and Nacogdoches has a lot of pine trees and a lot of the sand. Uh, the only difference is that the water's a lot clearer up there. A creek in Nacogdoches, you'd be able to see through a lot of it. You know, I wouldn't be catching so many guard and catching uh, more bass and, uh, you know, bluegill and maybe wormouth, stuff like that. Good catfish up there too. The gar right in front of us. And he just bit that worm. Unreal. These guys will just take anything. Now I have a single hook on, so I'm gonna wait for him to kind of readjust it in his mouth. He still got it. Okay, I think we're good. Yep. Oh nope. See, that's what happens. You think you're good. You try to set the hook, you end up in the vines. All right, here's the situation. I'm snagged up on a tree branch down there. It is my last treble hook, which I need for this light tackle to reliably hook these gar. So here's what I'm trying to do. 
see lots of people have been hung up before me. I'm trying to get down there where I can reach that branch with my hand. If I can reach it with my hand, I can pull it out of there, get the hook out. The problem is, I'm going to fall in the water. Everything here is incredibly sandy and crumbly and gives way. I would not be at all shocked if I ended up falling in the water, but whatever. Something is playing around with this one. All right, guys, I think we might have, yep, one last fish. I'm gonna let it move out to the end of the line here. Yep, there he is. He, he's kind of overpowered with this rod and reel. I brought this rod and reel out in case we uh, encountered any catfish. So this guy didn't stand much a chance. Oof, there's a nice gar. Yeah, hook just through the tip of his mouth. That's the way I want it when I'm doing this light tackle gar fishing. Look at that, threw himself off the hook. Nice fish. Tiny little guy, light tackle. I mean, medium heavy tackle, light tackle sized fish. But real nice to have, let's get him back. That's a real pretty fish. Yeah, he's ready to go. So, here he is, let's get him back. Oosh. All right guys, well I reckon that'll just about do it for us today. Uh, Fairly nice day, some good fish, no monsters, but a lot of fun. It's always nice to be outdoors and it's always better when you're catching fish. Don't forget guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell so when I upload a video, you get notifications straight away. If you wanna support the channel through our Patreon page, that link is in the description of this video. More is coming guys, stay tuned and until it's here, I will see you guys later.